Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to be returning to the topic of adding a PPC card to your Amiga. Now, this is a topic I've covered several times before, and if you need to know more information than is in this video, please do check out my previous one on a deep dive into adding PowerPC cards to your Amiga. Now, there are various uh, PCI-based PPC cards you can add to your Amiga, but many of them come in this format which is a PMC card. In other words, a PCI mezzanine card, which means it has these kinds of connectors to attach to the computer and comes in this kind of footprint. This specific card is the Apocalypse card, but there are also Rapture and Ragnarok cards to give them their code names that are also PMC cards. And of course, the immediate issue uh, beyond just finding one of these cards is the fact that you can't plug it straight in to PC, uh, PCI daughter board on your Amiga because we simply don't have these kinds of connectors. These are the PMC connectors here. So in order to use this kind of card, you need some kind of carrier card in between. And this typically is the carrier card that most people use to attach the PMC card. Um, this specific one, just to look at the back, is a Ramix PMC239 and the slash F designating that I've got a fan built into it. So it's this Ramix that is the way to go so far if you want to attach your PMC card. Um, incidentally, I should say there are some other uh, carrier cards, including one by Technobox, that work just as well. The key thing about them and why you have to be so specific about the type of carrier card that you have is that these are passive ones. Uh, they just pass through the signals straight to the PMC connectors here from the PCI edge connector down at the bottom here without any chips in between uh, for the simple reason that many other uh, carrier cards do have a bridge chip in between, but current versions of PCI software can't see beyond that bridge. So you need a passive card like this one for the PowerPC card to work. So with those two together, you can add PowerPC to your PCI enabled Amiga and off you go. Thanks to the wonderful library by Hedion. Cheers to you, Hedion, for that PCI library that supports our PC cards, super. However, you then encounter a problem, which is how do you get hold of these Ramix carrier cards? Because um, maybe a few years ago, occasionally they came up for sale at decent prices on auction sites, not so much anymore. Uh, demand is outstripping supply, which is the reason why some people are producing recreations, replicas, and this is one of those. This is by the totally superb Torsten Kerbad or Torsty76. Shout out to you, Torsty. Um, and you'll know that I've used some of his cards uh, for other purposes in the past. He's an excellent builder, super high quality. But I should say there are other types of replacements for the Ramex available from other producers. So what I'm going to be focusing on in this video is just what this card can do uh, and how it provides a suitable replacement for the Ramex. So maybe if let's move the PPC card out of the way for the time being and just take a closer look at what we've got here. And um, maybe in comparison to the Ramex itself, let's just put them side by side and get them nice and lined up. And uh, you know, they have very similar footprints and layouts is the first thing, uh, both with prominent fans here for cooling purposes uh, and end slots at the end through the bracket to let air in. So visually look quite similar, but there are some noticeable differences here. So I think it's worth talking about those just briefly. Perhaps the most obvious thing is the fact that we've got four connectors for PMC on the Ramex, but only two on the recreation. Is that going to be a problem? Well, the answer to that is no, don't worry about it. Even though my 
power PC card to get that back over here has got the four connectors on it does it matter that I'm connecting to a carry card with only two no is the answer to that one and the reason for it is that the third connector here on the Ramix is for 64 bit PCI and indeed that is why the edge connector here on the PCI edge connector has all these extra connections it's for a PCI X 64 bit version of PCI but the Amiga simply doesn't support 64 bit PCI in any format so limiting ourselves to 32 bit as we've got here with the edge connector and with just two connectors is absolutely fine and in passing the fourth PMC connector here is also equivalent to this big connector block at the top and just uh, passes through IO pins so they're more readily accessible. Um, I'm not aware of any use for that on the Amiga so the loss of this connector and the fourth PMC connector not a big deal. The other thing to point out is uh, this area on the PM, uh, the Ramix carrier card uh, which is the equivalent here on the recreation and these are power regulators uh, and what the cards are doing let's start with the Ramix is taking power from the PCI pins and converting it to 3.3 volts and the reason that's needed is that as far as I'm aware all of these PPC cards require 3.3 volts to operate of course the Amiga doesn't natively have 3.3 volts uh, supply on it so it's really handy that the Ramix here has a little converter area that produces 3.3 volts for the PMC connectors I can happily run my PPC card in there even though the rest of the Amiga doesn't have 3.3 volts within it really useful the Recreation has a similar facility uh, provided by this third party external board here. Let me just tilt it up, you can see that a little bit better, uh, which also is providing 3.3 volts. But there are a couple of differences here that I think are worth pointing out because they could be important for your setup. The first is that this converter, as far as I'm aware, is taking as an input 5 volts and dropping that to 3.3. Uh, and maybe that's no big deal I don't know but it does mean that it's putting extra load on the Amiga's 5 volt supply however Torsti's version of this carrier card starts with 12 volts and drops that to 3 volts and typically 12 volts isn't used very much by the Amiga maybe if you've got a uh, real hard disk in there or a real floppy drive that might be drawing on the 12 volt supply but probably not very much so my very simplistic take on this is this might be a more efficient way to go puts less load on that precious 5 volt power supply the second difference here again which I think could be significant for some is that the Ramix only provides 3.3 volts to the PMC connectors it doesn't put it back onto the PCI bus however that's the difference with the modern Torsti version which does supply 3.3 volts back to the entire PCI bus so if you have other cards PCI cards in your Amiga in the other slots that need 3.3 volts actually this power supply is going to provide that for you and you don't need to worry about how you're going to provide that through the daughter board final thing to say here is that this add-on power supply is really clever because what it does is it waits after power on for a short period of time just to see if any other card on the PCI slots is itself providing 3.3 volts and if it's not it steps in and does that and switches on if on the other hand it finds 3 volts on the PCI uh, connectors it does nothing and turns itself off so it it waits to see what everything else is doing and only steps in when it needs to and that means that this card can be used with those mediator PCI slot uh, extensions 
that don't natively provide 3.3 volts it'll step in and do that for you on the other hand if you are using this in one of the more modern mediators that has its own 3.3 volt regulator or maybe a prometheus uh, backplane um, this will do nothing it'll stay switched off i think that's a really clever design it means that you get support for 3.3 volts when you need it and not when you don't this is also incidentally a higher current supply than i think the mediators supply so if you are putting a lot of load on three volts um, there might be a case for modding your mediator to remove the onboard regulator and allowing this card to do it for you don't know i haven't looked into that but it might be something worth thinking about a couple of final things on this card before we plug it all in and check it all works uh, we've got a couple of fan connectors up at the top here one of them is labeled for 5 volts and one for 12 volts really good to have the optionality there on the original i've only got one fan uh, I can't tell you off the top of my head what voltage that is, but only one option for the fan. And the second thing here is a key, this sort of little purple printed peg, uh, is to ensure that anything I plug in here is capable of signaling at 5 volts, because even though as a power supply it needs 3 volts, it needs to be able to send signals that are from zero and then at five volts onto the PCI connectors because that's what the Amiga's expecting is a high signal will be plus five volts, not plus three volts. This little peg will engage with a hole on my PPC card. There's a little hole there. I don't know if you could see that. Uh, which is showing that this card, PMC card, is 5 volt signal capable. So these, this pair will work together. In fact, all of the uh, PPC cards in this PMC form uh, that work on the Amiga are 5 volt signaling capable. So this is this will work for us, but it's a nice little safety measure that um, I don't actually get on the Ramex, unfortunately. So I think there's not a lot more to do, but uh, turn this card over and uh, very carefully plug it in. Uh, snap the two together. Um, what I really should do is screw into the little standoffs here. I don't know if you can see those that will hold the PPC card rigidly, rigidly to the carrier card. I should really screw those in, but just for a quick test, I'm not going to do that. That's our setup now. I can move the Ramix out of the way, um, but this is our setup. I can plug this back into my Amiga and check it out. Okay, the card is in the machine, as you can see, and this is my usual A3000 based Amiga. In fact, the AA3000 Plus motherboard right at the bottom down there. Uh, but you will have seen this many times before if you've been following my other videos. Anyway, the PMC and uh, riser card here are in the top PCI slot. I should say, by the way, normally I wouldn't have the PPC in the top slot here. Actually, I tend to have it in the bottom one with the Voodoo card above it. And the reason for that is this fan is blowing air upwards, which therefore runs over the heatsink of the Voodoo card which gives it a little bit of extra cooling that was that would be my top tip but just for now so you can see what's going on the new riser card is in the top slot here uh, ready to go and perhaps before i move on i should just call out this white section here perhaps you can't see it very well but this is a sort of custom uh, fan holder for the um, carrier card uh, and the reason i'm just calling that out is uh, you kind of need something like this on these carrier cards to be really low profile and to hold the central fan here i have seen some ramixes for sale without fans uh, and if you want to add your own you've got to come up with your own custom solution like this so shout out to torsty for having worked all that out right the cards in the machine i don't think there's anything more to do than to hit the power button here and get going you probably can't see it but the fan on the carrier card is working 
really nicely and the good news about that is uh, it's a lot quieter than the car, uh, fan I have on the Ramex card which is getting a bit old now perhaps I need to replace that so let's switch over to what the Amiga is showing and we can test out the PowerPC and here we are in Workbench now I'm going to open up a shell for use in a moment but uh, what I'm going to do first is run my little script that I've got here to start the PBC of course you can start the PBC every time you uh, start the machine and go into workbench but for me I prefer to start it manually as and when I want to use it so I'm going to double click that and after a moment or two we got the extra memory from the PPC card added into what the Amiga is aware of and in the shell let's just have a check to make sure it is all integrated into the system okay and what we can see here yeah one warp up processor a PPC 7410 at 450 megahertz that is my power PC card so this is all working exactly as it should do all very straightforward so what are my overall impressions of the PCI to PMC carrier card? Well, I'm incredibly grateful for Torsten and for those others who produced this card. It really is helpful to have a modern replacement for the Ramex and other carrier cards for our Amigas. And the reason I say that is the originals are becoming quite so difficult to come by. I have seen the Ramexes offered for sale for several hundreds of pounds. Uh, not sure anyone is prepared to pay that money for one of those, but that is a sign of the scarcity of those cards. So having modern replacements is really helpful. Of course, there is a cost to everything in life, particularly for low batch runs of things like this. So, you know, bear that in mind when you're thinking about adding a PowerPC card to your Amiga. But nevertheless, it is great to have more supply of these kinds of things. And as I say, the this particular version by Torsten uh, does add some extra capabilities, which I think could be really helpful for some users. All in all, anything that enables more people to use PowerPC on their classic Amigas, I think has got to be a good thing. And I'm really pleased to have this card for my Amiga. That's it for this time. Join me again next time.